Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I have a bunch of new makeup that I wanted to try out and test out in front of you guys, in front of the camera and tell you guys how they work and everything. Uh, all of these are actually new releases. So yeah, I'm super excited to talk about them and let's dive in. Also, if you are someone who's new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it here. I hope you like the vibe. I hope you like the content. Anyway, if you end up liking the content, you can hit the subscribe button along with that the notification bell as well. So let's dive in. The first thing that I tested out is the type foundation. So this is the type beauty and this is a very new Indian brand that I have been seeing on my Instagram a lot. Now I already tested out the concealer in my past video and I do really like it. I use it from time to time. I use it on a day to day basis. I absolutely love the concealer by the way and it is moderately priced uh, brand. It's not something that's high end but it's not really inexpensive. The products retails from 1500 to 800, 900 around that range. So they released a foundation, uh, the serum foundation and they have three different types of serum foundation like they have a, I think like a for a blemish something and I got the get even serum foundation because the description did fit uh, you know my preference the description of this foundation was like it was going to be very satin very skin like yet it's going to even out your skin tone at the same time this foundation also has uh, vitamin C in it and it has SPF 50 in here as well. So it's like a skincare infused kind of like a makeup, you know. Uh, anyway, so I got the shade 235 Chai. First of all, it's a wrong shade for me. This is the almost like the first time I'm getting my foundation shade wrong. I'm almost really good at picking up my shade online, but I don't know what happened this time. This is not my shade. It's like two or three shades lighter than my skin tone. But still then I had to try it. I cannot return it as well. Uh, so this foundation, as soon as I tried it, I always use my beauty blender, which is from Mars. And I tried it and I have to tell you guys that while I was at Applying it I do really like it it did give me a very nice radiance and it was sitting really nicely and but right now as I'm looking at my skin I do have to say it's not like it's not bad I think it's it, it may be because of the shade I really don't like how it's looking around my mouth I think it's because of the shade but still then it's not like I'm not really 100% happy with this product. I did spend 1,500 on this foundation and I just think there are so many better options. Although it might be good for someone who have oily skin. For my dry skin, I just don't know if I like it. Also, I'm in an air-conditioned room right now. So I, I have a really, really good foundation in my collection that I love more than this. I can totally say that. But I don't really hate this foundation also. So this is just a very okay product for me. So yeah, I for me, I would say it did not really work out that well. Although I have to use it for quite a couple of times again to see, you know, with different primers, maybe it's going to work really nicely. I don't know. But so far, it was a really okay product, not worth 1500, I would say. So the next product release that I got here is the LA Mior blush. Now you guys know I am such a blush lover. I just, I love to apply blushes all the time. Now these blushes are glowy powder blushes. Now you guys know I really don't use powder blush that much, uh, but I saw them and I was like, wow, they look so gorgeous. They have this marble design on them. And these are like highlighter sort of blush. You know, they look very glowy. They don't have visible shimmers or sparkles to them, which I absolutely love. And I have the shade Lotus Quartz and I have the shade Gilded Peach. So I have two shades in here. And while I was applying it, the first thing I noticed is that the smoothness of, you know, the blush it's extremely smooth on your skin it's not patchy in any way sometimes i don't like powder blushes because they tend to look a little bit patchy a little bit drying as well on my dry skin but with this one i noticed that it wasn't looking patchy nor it was looking dry it was so smooth on the skin it give it gave me a very nice glowy look from within and also i love that it looks super super natural it has a nice buildable finish to it where you can build it up to the 
amount of blush that you like but i absolutely love this blush for powder blushes you guys know i want the formula to be quite unique and these are definitely that my favorite has to be the shade gilded peach obviously i just think they are worth the money and when i applied it i did look up close if they gave me any sort of shimmers or if i have some kind of sparkles to my skin because i do not like that and i was shocked to see that there is no visible shimmers or sparkles but yet it looked glowy from within so you don't have to go in with a highlighter when you're using this blush because it already is very very glowy in itself so yes for me the blushes did work really nicely so the next product that i have from ellen your again here is the cream blonde bron why am i saying bronzer cream bronzer cream bronzer and this is in the shade caramel now when i saw this bronzer i was like uh there is a little bit of shimmers in it but it's just the first layer of shimmers inside there is actually no shimmers at all but it is a little bit of a glowy bronzer it's not too creamy i know a lot of you guys don't want something that's too creamy because sometimes what happens is if it if a product is too creamy it slips and slides and throughout the day it does not last that that long now i have been using this bronzer for quite some time and i do have to say the longevity of this bronzer is amazing it gives a very nice subtle bronze it's not something that is going to sculpt your cheekbones and it's going to look heavy because i feel like it gives a very nice natural bronze something that you can use on a day to day basis and even if you have oily skin and you stay away from cream products I feel like you can give this a go because of uh, how not creamy this is like not in a bad way but in a way where it has the right amount of consistency you know it's not too creamy but it's not too stiff also and you can easily apply this with any brush just dip the brush in here and tap 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 and this blends out like a dream so i do have to say that the consistency is really good the shade also is really nice because it did suit my skin tone really nicely it gave me such a nice subtle bronze absolutely a favorite as well next product that i have here is from cups and lashes and the, it is the liquid blush now the name of this liquid blush is it's dew liquid blush so you think that it's going to be really dewy right i feel like this blush isn't that dewy like it's not dewy you know it's not that dewy at all i have so many other blushes that are so so dewy but i really like the formulation it's not that i don't like the formulation i just think that it's not that dewy like you know like my other blushes I have to tell you guys I like how sheer it is like you can build this blush up and it's not going to look patchy another thing i like about this is the packaging the packaging is so sleek it almost looks like a liquid lipstick it's very easy to travel with this sort of product i really i am telling you guys that you can just travel you can just keep this in your purse and it just looks like a lipstick uh another thing i do want to add to this is that this gives such a nice subtle glow uh again it's not a very dewy blush but it definitely has a little bit of that subtle glow to it which makes it look super super natural now i do have a lot of liquid and cream blushes in my collection and i do have to say the formula is not something that's quite unique or something like that but i like this shade so much it is this shade cat fam and i when i saw this first i was like this is not going to show up on my skin tone but this gave me such a nice soft you know peach sort of a uh, you know like a like a shade what am i saying so i think it gave me very nice peachy sort of a tone to add, and i like it because it's so subtle i don't like blush that is a lot that that's a lot to blend out it blends out really nicely on my skin and yeah it's a really good blush especially under 300 i really do like it Anyway, the next thing I got here is from NYX and this is a hyped up product you guys. This is the Thick It Slick It and this is a eyebrow eyebrow mascara. So this is a very very popular product especially in the in international beauty community. A lot of people were loving this. So I got the shade Black. Now first of all, when I opened this up yesterday because I got this yesterday and I opened it up yesterday and I saw that it had tiny tiny kind of fibers to it in it and it was 
thick you know it's a very very thick sort of consistency it's not something that's too liquid and that is why i feel like it keeps my brows up and in place now i am someone i really love the trend of bushy brows you know where your brow hairs are very lifted up but it's very very hard you know for me to find products in order to do that trend because my brow hairs never they never go you know upside they always go downwards no matter what product i'm using i also used to use the hair glue uh for the from uh, yeah i used to use the hair glue before and i tried to do the you know bushy brow tan with the hair glue <laughs> So I, what I noticed about this particular product is that it gives nice thickness to my brows, first of all. The second thing I noticed about this is that it actually keeps my brows up. Like I love it for that because it is so long lasting and it actually does work. I did pay like 900 for this product but I really, really like it. I feel like this actually is working and I can finally do the little bit of that bushy brow trend. I just, uh, I don't use actually any product before I used to draw my brows and carve them and all of it. But right now I'm not doing anything. I just use one product for my brows and that product I want it to be good. So I'm super happy with this. I just think that it is worth the money. It, it, yes, it retails for 900, but it is worth the money. also i wanted to say my brows doesn't feel crisp like i know a lot of people sometimes they feel like you know you have a lot of product going on and you feel very uncomfortable but this one it does not feel uncomfortable at all so the next product i got here is from nif cosmetics actually nif cosmetics did send this eyeshadows to me this is a new launch by nif cosmetics and i have talked about nif cosmetics eyeshadows so much before in the past they have some amazing eyeshadows you guys like their eyeshadows are top notch quality and i was super excited to see like these two shades because i absolutely you guys know i love lilac eyeshadows that's like really really something that i absolutely enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis anyway i do really love this moss green sort of eyeshadow too i feel like it's very similar to one of my ColourPop eyeshadows that i have anyway uh the formulation of these eyeshadows are a little bit different than the other shadows the other shadows that they have were very very shimmery much more shimmery and it was a little bit more soft this one is a little bit more stiff but it, the finish of this is more satin than shimmery you know i feel like it just gives a very nice sort of satin type of an effect on the eyes as you can see as i move my head it shifts to a lilac and a blue sort of uh, shade as well this type of eyeshadows i absolutely love because it's not shimmery you can use this it's very wearable it's not something that you can only use at night i feel like you can use this in during daytime as well and the formulation is really really good like i absolutely love how my eyes look like and again i do have to say the product like the formulation is satin type of eyeshadow it's not exactly a shimmery sort of eyeshadow and the formulation is very different than your new normal usual eyeshadows that you get in the market so for me, I do have to give this eyeshadows a 10 on 10 and especially coming from a really small business on Instagram. I think she nails the formula every time and I absolutely love these products. I always used to love Nip Cosmetics eyeshadows. I use them on a daily basis. Like I'm not kidding. Whenever I have to make my eyes look really sparkly and you know, grab all the attention to my eyes, I use their eyeshadows. And to see a very good wearable lilac shade, I, I really do like it. Anyway, that was it for today's video. I think the disappointment uh, is this uh, product, the Type Beauty uh, Foundation. I may like the other, you know, foundation they have, but the Get Even Serum Foundation did not work for me. Other than that, I actually did like all the products. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.